Hello, my sewing friends. It is time to de-stash some more patterns. Woohoo! I'm Jen and I am de-stashing patterns like a maniac. So today, since I separate all of my patterns into decades, we're gonna do the dresses from 2010 to 2019. Let's go for it. Let's look at my patterns from 2010 to 2019. Starting with New Look 6298. I'm gonna keep this because my friend Carol has made this and she loved it. Now, New Look and I don't always get along, but I'll try it. It does look pretty straight up and down, so I'll probably have to curve it in a little bit, but I'll give it a try. It's made for knits. New Look 6094, you know, I want to keep this because I just like the shape of this dress. I love the box pleats. Uh, I think these little cap sleeves are kind of interesting because they're made like a cropped off raglan. I think it's got a lot going for it, so I'm going to hang on to this. Simplicity 1800. Okay, what I like about this dress is the way that the pockets come out of that princess seam. But what I think is that it would be difficult to get a bra not to show with this. I don't generally wear strapless bras, so this might be tough. I do love, though, the whole idea, so I think I will hang on to this. It is an amazing fit pattern, so this um, empire, the bodice, is going to be um, multiple sizes and kind of the uh, Full bust adjustment uh, worked in already. So yeah, I think I'll hang on to that. McCall 7016, I currently have set aside to make. I think I have two copies of this. I uh, got both for size. What I like is this, and I will be making it. I love the shawl collar. I love that dropped waist and that little flouncy skirt. I'm going to hang on to that. Vogue 1182 is a K Unger design and it is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Now, I am not one for a straight skirt. I don't know if this, I think this would be some finagling. It would be very fiddly to try and make this more of an A line. The reason I say that is because it has princess seams. So, I am going to hang on to it just because this whole business is so pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this. Vogue 1543 is a dress. It's an Anne Klein design. And the thing about this, once again, Vogue, why does Vogue do this? You can't even see what's really cool about this dress. And that's little uh, tiny pleats. Gorgeous. Now, this calls for chiffon. Georgette and lawn. Okay, I might make this out of lawn, but I am going nowhere near chiffon. So that's what makes me question whether or not I would ever make this. It's a pity that the tie covers up those pleats. Um, but all things considered, I think I will hang on to it, especially since uh, you can do it in cotton lawn. That might be really pretty. Vogue 1449 is cute. It looks like a little tennis dress. Um, just adorable. And uh, you can see there are style lines. Once again, Vogue, how are we supposed to see those style lines? I mean, you can if you really look, but you know, they hide them. I think I'll hang on to this. Um, it's just different enough that I think it might be something cute that I could make for my eldest daughter. Butterick 5881 is a Catherine Tilton. And no. It's just too weird for me. Mm, no, no. Simplicity 1539. I liked the knots on this, this high one, this one, but those kinds of tops really give me fits because they are so hard for me to fit. And I think I will let this go. This was a thrifted pattern anyway, and so yeah, I will never make this, and that's the only one really that um, I would try and attempt. New look, 6281. I like the fact that it's a shift dress. Here is a basic version of that. You see how straight up and down that is, though? Uh, no. And these, the color blocking is pretty, but I don't like the tiered idea. 
I do not like that hemline. So I, too many things wrong with this one for me. So this is going to go. Vogue 1317 is a Ralph Rucci Chado design. Now I bought this back in the early 2000s because I just thought it was so pretty. This is a pretty low neckline, but that's fixable. Um, you can tell on the back, it's got these interesting insets and then, you know, it's got that tie. I no longer think what I thought back in 2000. This also has that continuous sleeve and I do not like that. It does not ever look good on me. So this is going to go. Simplicity 8231 is a So House 7 dress and absolutely not. It looks like a feed sack on her and on these. So no. No, McCall 6891 is a classic shirt dress, and I think I will hang on to this. Um, I like the split collar. I like those sleeves. This is really pretty, um, and I like the tie. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one. Butterick 6447, uh, no. And the only reason is the back of this. See how that, the back, where it comes up like that and it goes around? No, that's going to gape. I have made these kinds of dresses before, um, and they're, no, they just don't work on me. Uh, I'm not wild about this either, but mm, I can tell you right now that would give me fits, and so no. Another So House 7, Simplicity 8641, no. <laughs> cute back, cute front, looks like an apron, but you have to wear a shirt under it, and no. I think So House 7 and I don't get along. Simplicity 8551, no, I, I don't like this style, you know, where it's got the, the V-neck kind of slashed front. Simplicity 8551, um, no, I'm going to let this one go just because I don't like it. <laughs> it does have those uh, tiny tucks, like pin tucks, but no, uh, that's the only redeeming quality about this for me. I, I don't like those sleeves. I, it's too short it would have to be a tunic and no I just don't like it that much. Berta 8261 now I don't know when this came out but I loved the style lines on this. Now when I look at this um, jacket the way it's made it's kind of I don't know about that armhole arm like side seam. I don't know that I don't know but I really do like the the um, dress. So even though I would have to lower this because of my apex, I still think I would really enjoy this dress. So I'm going to hang on to this. Another Berta, Berta 2657. And I, I love this. I love it because of uh, the princess seams and the front seam and the way that it falls, just the square neckline. I really like this. So hanging on to this one. Butterick 5522. This is a very unstructured dress, uh, and I love this. I love the 60s vibe. It kind of gives off, and I really like it. So I need to make this because this is a kind of thing I would wear um, any time of year, but very comfortable and very cute. So, yeah. Vogue 1178 is an Anna Sui design, and I got this back in the early 2000s. I thought it was going to be just so cute, but once again, chiffon. No, thank you. What does this call for? Uh, fabrics. Chiffon. It's also a wrap, and wraps are tricky because they can come down really low, so I'm going to let this one go. McCall 7889 is another shirt dress, and it's kind of a variation on the theme. And you know what? It's just not tailored enough for me. I like the pleats. That's why I got this pattern. I like the extended shoulder seam that comes forward. I'm not wild about these little cap sleeves. Uh, I don't know if I'm wild about that extended shoulder line. There just isn't enough that's tailored about this that makes me say, yes, I want to keep that. Now, maybe I'm going to be sorry about that because of the little tie in the front, but I'm going to let this one go. Vogue 1421 is a Donna Karen. This is just gorgeous, and you can't even see that, can you? All you see is a little A-line dress, but look at this. Look at these style lines. 
they're just so pretty. This whole waistline is pieced in such a way that it just gives it so much interest. Definitely keeping this one, but again, Vogue, what are you thinking? Giving us this solid black design that's just, you can't see any of those style lines. What a pity. Good thing to know. Look on the back of a Vogue pattern and see if it's, see if the style lines grab you. Yet another Vogue, 1223. This is an Anne Klein. I like this, but again, chiffon, got it back in the 2000s, early 2000s. This is really gorgeous. The way that that water falls down with the pleats. Mmm, tough call on this one. The fabrics, they tell you crepe de chine and organza. I don't know that I'd want to fiddle around with organza. Um, the dress is lined, so you could do it with something sheer. I think I will hang on to this one um, just for those pleats, uh, but I'm not going anywhere near chiffon. <laughs> no chiffon for me. So it'd have to be a crepe de chine or um, organza or even cotton lawn might be really pretty. New look, 6635. I got this because I liked the way that the skirt was attached right here, but I don't think I like it enough to keep it. It's very simple. Uh, pretty sleeves, you know, with the slant, but I think that would bother me, those sleeves. They would get in my way. So, nope, I, I can let this go. Butter 6676. The reason I picked this up was because of the tie. Very simple dress. You can go straight skirt, A-line skirt. This A-line skirt, I can tell you right now, is not going to be that full. So I would probably want to widen it, but it's not going to be that. Nope. It's going to be much straighter than that, but I don't know. I, I think I like this. I think I do. So uh, I'm going to keep it just because it's simple. It could be, you know, it would be easy to make and it would be pretty in the linen. So yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one. McCall 7996. I love this. It's like a jean jacket dress and I love this curved hem. I love that full skirt. I just, there are so many things I like about this that I'm definitely going to keep this one. And I got two copies of it because of the sizing. When patterns are $1.99, it's easy to do that. New look, uh, 6093. Yeah, I don't think so on this one. I think that this bust line would look horrible on me. Just no. <laughs> Pretty nice seams here, but if you have any hips at all, that's a bad idea. And I don't, but I this whole front section, you know, my tummy tends to stick out. So I'm going to pass on this one. Vogue 1233 is a Pamela Rowland design. And no, I don't like anything about this. I do not like those sleeves. I'm not wild about the collar. I do like the patch pockets, but look, they made this in almost an upholstery fabric. This is uh, a very high-end brocade, I think, and no, I just don't like it. It's too casual a dress for the fabric they've made it in, so nope. Vogue 9122, I think, is pretty old, and um, well, it's not that old because I'm doing, what am I doing, 2010 to 2019? Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's from then, but I really like this. I really do. Um, I know they, they're showing it as a jumper because they've got uh, a shirt underneath of it, but I really like that. So I'm going to hang on to this one. Another Anne Klein Vogue 1499. I love this. I just, I love the way they've played with the stripes and I would like to make this. So that I'm keeping. Vogue 1410 is a Lynn Mizono. Okay, this is just weird, but I like it. I think this could look just stunning. Again, Vogue did it in this black. You can't really see the style lines. You can see it here though. It's almost like they had a straight dress and they just drew it all in right there. And I just think that's so pretty. I'm, I'm definitely keeping this one. Simplicity 8874 is the simplest of simple knit dresses. There is just nothing to this except for a bodice and a skirt. <laughs> that's it. I got this because my daughter, my Number three daughter said she'd like to learn to sew and this was basic and she liked it, but no, she's never going to learn to sew or at least not anytime soon. And so I don't need this dress. I've got a hundred more like it. So bye-bye. This is new mode 22282. It's a polo 
and I'm keeping it because it's a polo and I don't have a polo shirt or dress in my pattern stash. So I'm going to hang on to this one. Haven't cut it yet. These are a lot like Berta. So very different from the big four, but totally doable. Simplicity 2444. Okay, this is a TNT for my friend Andra. She loves this dress. I don't know if I would love this dress. I think I like the pleated skirt. I like the tie. I really like this neckline, but am I ever going to make it? Probably not. So I think I'll let this one go. Yeah, I think I will. McCall's 7466. This is also the simplest of dresses, but you know what? I don't know the way they've color blocked it out with the denim, with here, the princess seams. I, you know what? I really like it. So I'm going to hang on to it. Simplicity 8014. Now this is really similar to this jeans jacket dress that I was looking at. Uh, I do like it. I like the curved hem. I like the variations. You have sleeve variations on this. So even though I've got two of the same thing, I do think I will hang on to this. Um, I just like it. I don't need to. You know what? I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. <laughs> I. I don't know. I really like it. I guess if I'm hesitating, I should just hang on to it. So yeah, I'll hang on to that. New look, 6507. Okay, here's what I like. I like this flounce. I like that a lot. And you know, even if I only wore this for a swimsuit cover up, I think I like it. I like how you can pull this up onto the shoulder. So hanging on to that. Yes, yes. A thousand times yes. This is Vogue 1446. I have wanted to make this forever for my daughter number four. She would look amazing in this. And the thing that grabbed me is that this is all pin tucks. I think it would take a while to make. The back is really interesting. Yeah, definitely hanging onto this. And I should make this soon. I should use some cotton lawn. I need to do that. McCall's 6956. Uh, no, no, because of the bra. No, I, that's too hard to fit. So no. Vogue 8667. Um, no, it's too plain and I don't like that cowl neck. So nope. Simplicity 8890 is a Mimi G pattern that I bought for daughter number three uh, to make because of the back. She liked a, a dress in a store that she saw. No, I don't like that and I doubt I would ever make it for her. So no. It's going. McCall's 7812. I got this pattern for my eldest daughter and I thought she might really like the shearing here because she's pretty full busted and I thought maybe that might be a nice look on her. She didn't like this pattern. So you know what? Nope, not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. So this one's going to go. Vogue 8992 is a coat dress. And you know what? I really like this. Even if all you did was wear this like a duster. I think it would be gorgeous. I, that collar is really big, but you know what? If I didn't like it that big, I could narrow it or even make it a shawl collar. So yeah, I'm going to hang on to this. Butterick 6316. I love, love, love this dress. I just love it. I love the color blocking. I love the way you can color block the center section. I love, I think what I love the most is the way this is cut in. See how that's cut in like that? I just, I just think that's so pretty. In fact, this is kind of a contender for my Easter dress. So we'll see. I have yellow linen. I could probably do this. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it, but I'm definitely keeping the pattern. Butterick 6681. No, I don't like this. It's a Lizette. You know what? I, I'm finding Lizette patterns and I just don't get along very well. So yeah, I don't think so. This is just going to make me look boxy and fat. And through here, it's going to emphasize right where I am too big. So no, I think you'd have to be a little skinny mini. And even on her, it looks a little bit boxy. So I don't think so. This is a, this is a one piece dress, but it looks like two. So, and plus it buttons up the back. So that's an absolute no for me. This one's going to go. Butterick 6129, I got recently because I liked the off the shoulder idea. It does have a wider neckband or like a yoke. So it has potential. I do like these pleats that they're off to the side. Uh, so yeah, I think I will hang on to this. Simplicity 8595 is a t-shirt dress. 
There is not much to this, but the people that have made this and worn it look fantastic in it. So I am going to hang on to this. It's made for knits and I didn't draw this on. Maybe I did. I don't remember, but, but yeah, I'm going to hang on to this. Simplicity 8415. The thing about this, first of all, that sleeve, no, absolutely not. This little ruffle or flounce is very cute. That's the version I would make if I were going to make it. And yet I actually have a vintage pattern that is the same pattern or very similar. So I think I'm going to let this one go. Yeah, I just, I know it has a lot of variations, but I, no, I just don't think so. McCall 7169 is your basic A-line princess seam dress. I think, though, it has some details that I really like. It is a Palmer and plush, so, you know, you're going to have a lot of opportunity to make this fit, so I'm going to hang on to this. Berta 8072. Love this. Just love it. I love the dropped waist. I love those little pocket flaps, even though they're not real pockets. I love that pleated skirt, so yes, keeping this. Quick Sew 4155. Yet another shirt dress. No, I, I don't know why I don't like this. It just does not appeal to me. Maybe it's the belt, but no, I don't think so. Simplicity 1537 is an amazing fit pattern, and I think I will keep this because it has that dropped waist. I think I will. I would add pockets, but yeah, I'm going to hang on to this. This also has separate uh, cup sizes, so you know, they give you a lot of chances to make it fit. Berta 7054 is just a little sundress, and no, I don't think I would ever make this. I have too many other sundresses, so I'll let this one go. Another amazing fit, uh, Simplicity 1277. I really like these insets. Uh, I would widen the skirt because inevitably, you know, you see a skirt like this and it's almost straight up and down. You can kind of see that. So yeah, but I'm going to hang on to this one. McCall 7319. This is cute. I have a dress similar to this. Uh, it's it goes back and forth with stripes. I don't know that I would do this with stripes. I might color block it out like this, but I do like it. I think it's got potential and I like that wrap. So I'm going to hang on to this too. We'll call 7084, uh, another shirt dress, but it's got um, the skirt that has the good days. And that's just a little bit different. I do like a full skirt, so I'm going to hang on to this. New look 6619. Okay, can you get more of a rectangle than that? This looks horrible on her. However, my good friend Carol has made this and she really likes it. So I think if you shortened it and um, used the right fabric, it might be really cute. So I am going to hang on to it, but I don't hold out a lot of hope for it. I don't know. This kind of thing and new look in me don't always get along. So we'll see. Simplicity 8691 is adorable. It's just adorable and it's got that little sweetheart neckline and it's so cute. So even if I didn't make it for me, I probably would make it for one of my girls. I love this little trim. I just, everything about this, I love. So I'm going to keep this. And last one, Butterick 6484 is a Gertie pattern. I, I don't know. I don't like how tight this is, but I wouldn't have to make it that tight. I do like the gathered skirt. What I love is the dropped waist. And I do kind of like this raglan kind of capped sleeve. And you've got an option here. So yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one too. So there we go. Time to put those into a pile to pass them along to someone who will love them. So that's it for now. I'll see you soon with the next installment. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.